Drone videos are giving the world a horrifying yet fascinating look at the tactics used by both sides of the war in Ukraine. A new video shows a very brave Ukrainian infantry team ambushing an entire column of Russian tanks and APCs with modern anti-tank missiles, and that from an incredibly close distance of only 30 meters. A recent drone video posted by WarLeaks shows a Russian armored convoy being ambushed on the M5 highway just north of Skiven in Ukraine. It is clear from the footage that a Ukrainian infantry team had constructed a concealed firing position that managed to keep them hidden from Russian tanks passing only 30 meters away. Without warning, the Ukrainian team fired multiple anti-tank missiles at the closest Russian vehicles. An N-law missile can be seen streaking over one tank, detonating above it. The explosion then punched through the tank's thin roof armor and started a fire in the tank. Within seconds, the tank's crew can be seen exiting the tank and running in all directions. Behind the burning tank, Russian infantry exited their APCs, also running for cover, while the ambush team sprayed automatic fire at them from close range. The APCs then took evasive action to escape from the kill zone. Behind them, two Russian tanks fired toward the main ambush position, hitting the area with high explosives, before another anti-tank rocket hit one of the tanks, seemingly with little effect. At the end of the video, the tank that was first hit by the first N-law missile can be seen rolling down the road while a Russian APC maneuvers behind it. The tank is clearly cooking off as the explosives inside it are starting to burn. The footage is a reminder of the sudden ferocity of war as well as the brutal cruelty of a successful ambush followed by a successful counter-ambush. Ukraine's armed forces seem to be destroying a lot of Russian tanks with the expensive, shoulder-fired missile systems that the West has given to Ukraine. Reuters reports that U.S. President Joe Biden's recent gift to Ukraine of $350 million worth of U.S. weapons brings the total U.S. assistance package to $1 billion over just the last year. The donation includes a large number of Javelin anti-tank weapons. The Javelin system has a day sight as well as an infrared sight for targeting armored vehicles at night. The missile's computer locks onto the target. A small charge blasts it out of the tube before the powerful rocket engine ignites. Here, the folded fins pop out to steer the weapon to the target. The weapon can be fired directly at buildings or the operator can set it to top attack mode, in which case the missile flies up to 150 meters before slamming down on a tank from above. Once it gets close to the target, the missile's first warhead detonates to activate the tank's reactive armor. After the reactive armor explodes, the main warhead detonates against the tank's thin top armor, where the shaped charge of the warhead punches a hole through the armor, causing the tank's ammunition to detonate. The Javelin is a fire-and-forget system that can destroy tanks up to 2 kilometers away. It can defeat armor that's up to 80 centimeters thick. The launcher can be reloaded, and each missile costs either $80,000 or $175,000, depending on who you ask. Ukraine has also been having success in using Turkish-made drones to infiltrate the airspace above invading Russian convoys and dropping bombs on their supply trucks and armored vehicles. The Wall Street Journal reports that the Ukrainian Air Force is crediting its new Turkish-made drones with destroying a large number of Russian weapon systems with guided bombs. The chief commander of Ukraine's armed forces, Valery Zaluzhny, posted a video of such a drone strike turning multiple Russian trucks into a fireball, adding the comment, Welcome to hell. The video was posted on Facebook with a text that says the Bayraptor drone struck a Russian convoy near the city of Malin, around 97 kilometers northwest of the Ukrainian capital, Kyiv. A few such videos show multiple bombs hitting Russian weapon systems in wooded areas and in convoys. The drones seem to be very effective at exploiting long Russian military convoys stuck in traffic jams. These stuck convoys present the drones with the opportunity to target an explosive-laden target like a supply truck. Once the truck and its explosives are hit, the massive explosion often blows up multiple surrounding vehicles and troops. Russian troops have been seen deploying anti-aircraft missiles effectively against such drones. Ukraine began receiving shipments of the drones in 2019. The drone's primary function is to use its high-powered cameras to view the battlefield and laser-correct artillery strikes. It can stay aloft for 24 hours, flying at a maximum altitude of 7.6 kilometers. A remote pilot can fly the drone from as far away as 300 kilometers in good weather. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.